we are standing outside the Bay of Rays. Yeah. Who's in here? I presume it's um, the Rays. <laughs> yeah, well, obviously, we've got Rays inside. Um, we've decided to go with some cow nose rays, some sting rays. So what makes cow nose rays so special? We have the move. Most rays just lie on the bottom, proudly hunt as they like to actually bury themselves in and jump up where the cow nose swim all the time, the swim formation. And they're just something really, really cool. They're really different. So what exactly are sting rays? How do they differ from other rays? Because there was other rays in here before. The tank's now moved up a wee bit higher since the new rays are in here. The sting ray has a defence mechanism on the back of its tail. And basically what it is, if, if it gets stood on, if it gets grabbed by another shark or another fish, um, that it has this defence that it can actually sting somebody. Uh, it ca carries a little venom inside it, which is, it's not deadly, but it's extremely, extremely painful. So where do these actually come from in the wild then? These are normally, they could be anywhere. You get them all the way up to, to China, and then you get them mainly the Gulf of Mexico, America, California. So what's their eyesight like? Can they actually see me? Because when they're looking past, it looks as if they're actually looking at me, which is quite cool. It's absolutely spot on. They have really, really good eyesight. One that, that they're hunters. I mean, even though they're cute, and they look lovely, and they look cute and cuddly, they're sharks, is what they are. They're a member of the shark family, so they are hunters. So now they're... Their eyesight is absolutely bang on, it's absolutely perfect, and their senses are just unbelievable. So, Mark, they're looking quite hungry here. He's looking if he's ready for his dinner. Can we give them a wee feed yeah, then? Yeah, yeah, Colin's just way to get the food and we'll get them fed. Perfect. Cool. <laughs> Colin, these guys know there's food about, don't they? Yeah, you can see that they're now swimming around looking for it, so <laughs> they're getting quite hungry now. Excellent. Well, I've got my gloves as well, so I can get involved with a bit of the feeding, but what are we actually going to be feeding them? So what we're going to be feeding them is some chopped mackerel, um, some squid, and we've also got some prawns for them as well. Oh, right. Um, is that the kind so of things they'd hunt in the wild, then? Yep. So they'd eat stuff like that in the wild, so we're just replicating what they would eat, making sure that they're very well fed, so we've got loads of food in the bucket. Okay. Ready for them. So we've got some fish on there, and is it just a case of putting it down? Pop it into the water a little bit down, yep, and then they should come, and they should get the smell from that. <laughs> He's thinking about it. Ah, there we go. Success. That's cool. There you go. <laughs> Amazing. Very hungry. 